Aloha, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com, and today I'll demonstrate how to set up the world's first original high performance all drop stitch Sea Eagle Razor Light inflatable kayak. Now, the Razor Light comes in two sizes the 12 foot 10 inch Solo 393RL and the 15 foot 6 inch Tandem 473RL. Because both Razor Lights are similar, I'll be using the Solo 393 for this video with the exception of packing them up, of which I'll demonstrate packing up both the Solo 393RL and the Tandem 473RL with accessories. To begin, unpack the Razor Light and accessories. The 393 comes in a blue or black backpack, and depending on which optional package and accessories you purchase, you may have the Solo Razor Light 393RL or Tandem Razor Light 473RL, tall back seat, AB40 four part aluminum paddle, AB50 two part carbon fiber paddle, manual red SUP pump, removable large or swept back slide in skeg, the Bigsby electric motor kit with slide and lock skeg adapter, Sea Eagle downwind quick sail, and BP12 electric pump. The Sea Eagle flex brace is included with the Razor Light kayaks. Each flex brace includes a right and left pedal with aluminum bars. I'll demonstrate how to install the right pedal as these steps are identical for installing the left. Locate the aluminum bar and insert it to the front end of the flex brace base that's just above the SeaEagle.com logo. Slide the right pedal onto the bar, then slide it forward. Place your knee directly behind the rear end of the flex brace base and place your hand on each side pinching the kayak material. The aluminum bar should now be under your right hand. Pull back with both hands and bend the kayak material across your knee. Line the bar up with the insert hole and squeeze your right hand. For most, the bar will slide right into place. For others, concentrate on getting the bar anywhere near the insert hole. Then move both hands onto the aluminum bar and squeeze. The bar will slide right into place. Take note of these steps because disassembly is these steps in reverse. It should not require a lot of force because you're using your body as leverage. Repeat these steps with the remaining flex brace. To adjust the pedal, simply lift the pedal, slide it to the desired position, and lower the pedal back into place. The 393 has three air valves located near the front of the kayak, one for the floor and one for each side chamber. For the Tandem 473RL, they are located at the rear, but the steps I'm about to show you are the same. Remove the caps. Push and turn the center valve stems a quarter turn to the left until they spring into the up position. There's no particular order for inflating the chambers of the razor light. To inflate your Sea Eagle, locate your manual hand SUP pump and screw on the hose with the hook and style recessed valve adapter. The adapter side has a rubber gasket. Be sure that the groove side of the gasket is facing out. If it's not, simply flip the gasket over so that the groove side is facing out. Then attach it to your recessed air valve by pushing it in and turning it to the right until it locks into place. Start by selecting double action. This inflates during the up and down strokes. When it gets hard to pump, switch over to single action, which makes it even easier to inflate by just using the downstrokes and your body weight as leverage. Be sure to inflate all chambers to the proper working pressure of 10 PSI. Sea Eagle has a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. The BP-12 single stage electric pump is great for use with Sea Eagle kayaks, SUPS, and smaller Sea Eagle boats like the 285 FPB, STS-10, and 437 paddle ski. Attach the pump hose to your recessed valve adapter by pushing it in and turning it to the right until the hooks lock into place. Then simply set the dial gauge to the desired PSI and press the on button and your hands free. The pump will automatically shut off once the desired PSI setting has been reached. Remember to use only Sea Eagle recommended pumps as they have been thoroughly tested for use with Sea Eagle products. Never use an air compressor because it can easily damage your Sea Eagle and may cause bodily harm. Non-recommended pumps void your Sea Eagle warranty. At the rear of the razor light are two drain caps, one on each side. While on land, to drain water, unscrew them open and lift the front end of the kayak. Remember to screw them shut when finished. 
Be sure not to leave them open while on the water because that will cause the kayak to partially fill with water, which is not desirable. The tall back seat included with your razor light has four adjustable straps, two straps for the back and two straps for the front. With all straps fully extended, attach the rear straps to the rear D-rings and the front straps to the front D-ring. Unfold your seat, position it in the desired location, and tighten all straps. Assembly of the four part AB40 paddles are the same and are quite easy. There's a right and left blade, two drip guards, and two shaft sections. Slide the drip guards onto the shaft ends with a single hole. and simply snap the blades in place. Slide the male end of the shaft into the female end and snap them together. The additional off-center holes in the middle of the paddle are for feathering the blades. The blades can be offset from each other to make paddling into a stiff breeze easier, as the blade that it's not in the water can slice through the wind with less resistance. The two-piece AB50 carbon fiber paddle is great for long tours and cooler environmental temperatures because it doesn't conduct cold like aluminum, which means your hands are gonna stay much warmer. The drip guards come pre-attached. Simply attach the two halves together and you're ready to go. The paddle also has three holes in the center for feathering. The last step is to roll your kayak over and slide the rear skeg into place, then lock it in place with the retaining clip. It should slide in easily so be sure not to force it. If you have the Bigsby electric motor, it quickly installs the same way. The Sea Eagle Downwind Quick Sail is easy to use and lots of fun. The Quick Sail includes the sail, rope stay system, Velcro strap, folding frame, and storage bag. You won't need the rope stay system with the Razor Light kayaks or other Sea Eagles that have the Sea Eagle Flex Brace. Unfold the frame to full length and insert the halves for each pole. Unfold the sail and locate the sleeve openings at the bottom of the sail. Feed the long ends of the frame into the sail. Open the quick sail and place it up against the front of the flex brace pedals facing you. Wedge the feet into the sides of your kayak and you're ready to sail. Paddling or motoring upwind first, then sailing downwind is ideal. Bracing your feet against the bottom of the frame will steady and support the quick sail. There are side cutouts where you can grip the sail and a convenient window so you can easily see where you're going. When you're ready to paddle or motor back, simply roll up the quick sail and you're ready to go. Because of its design and the world's first all drop stitch construction, the Sea Eagle Razor Light can be inflated to a much higher pressure than other inflatables, resulting in a sleeker, rigid contoured shape that's incredibly faster, lighter, and higher performing than any other inflatable kayak on the market. Packing up the razor light is quick and easy. Start by removing the tall back seat, rear skeg, and air fill caps. Before you perform this next step, be sure that your face is not directly over any of the valves. Then push the center valve stems down and a quarter turn to the right. The stems will lock in the down open position, allowing air to escape. Slide the flex brace pedal and aluminum bar all the way forward. Place your knee directly behind the rear end of the flex brace base with your hands on each side pinching the kayak material. The aluminum bar will be under your right hand. Pull back with both hands and bend the kayak material across your knee. The rear end of the bar should pop right out. Pull the rest of the bar out and stow it in the retaining clips on the back of your pedal. Repeat these steps with the opposite side. There are many different ways to pack up the Razor Light kayaks to suit your specific needs. However, in this video, I'll show you the way that I found to be the easiest, starting with the Solo 393 RL, followed by the Tandem 473 RL. Both packing instructions are going to be timestamped in the video's description below for your convenience. Chapter selections have also been created. Starting with the Solo 393 RL, fold the side chambers inward. 
At the rear of the kayak, use the middle of the safety and load capacity labels for fold location reference and make a forward fold. After making the forward fold, note the location of the leading edge of the rear skeg base and how the fold is positioned off center and to the right. At the front of the kayak, use the middle of the seagull.com logo for fold location reference and fold the front of the kayak back and off center to the right side. Then make a second fold towards the rear. Pull it over the first fold and line up the edges. Push out any remaining air and secure it with the included strap. Lay the backpack next to the folded razor light and confirm it will fit. If it doesn't appear it will, just adjust your folds until it does. Slide the bag over the thicker end of the kayak and a third of the way up. Stand the kayak up on end and pull the bag up the remainder of the way. Pack your seat in AB50 paddle. and secure your pump. Here it is again, this time with the AB44 part paddle. and then the whole process over again, this time with the black backpack. Now for the Tandem 473RL. Again, please keep in mind there are many different ways to pack up the Razorlight kayaks to suit your specific needs. However, in this video, I'll show you the easiest way that I found. Deflate your Razorlight 473RL and fold the side chambers inward. At the front of the kayak, use the front edge of the Seagull.com logo as a reference point and make your first fold towards the rear here by folding and twisting the front end flat and back on top of itself. Note how I use my arms and knees to press everything flat. From there, make a second fold towards the rear. Note again how I use my arm and knee to press everything flat. From there, head to the rear of the kayak. Use the floor air valve as a reference point to make your first fold forward by folding and twisting the rear of the kayak forward and flat on top of itself. Note how I use my arms and knee to press everything flat. After making the forward fold, note the location of the leading edge of the rear skeg base and make an additional fold forward. This fold will go on top of the opposite end folds. Note the position of my knee as I pull one fold on top of the other, then use my arms, knees, and body weight to remove any excess air. Now secure it with the included strap. Leave the backpack next to the folded razor light and confirm it will fit. If it doesn't appear that it will, just adjust your folds until it does. Slide the bag over the thicker end of the kayak and a third of the way up. Stand the kayak up on end and pull the bag up the remainder of the way. Pack your two seats and two AB50 paddles and secure your pump. Here it is again, this time with two AB44 part paddles. A couple of things I want you to keep in mind is the more you fold and pack up your razor lights, the easier the process will come. Not only will the material become more pliable and develop a memory, but with time, your assembly, folding, and packing skills as well as techniques will improve as well. 
The other thing I want you to keep in mind is, although the bags are extremely convenient to pack things away, once packed, the heaviest Solo Razor Light 393RL package still weighs around 45 pounds, and the heaviest Tandem Razor Light 473RL package will weigh around 62 pounds. So that's just something that I want you to keep in mind. If you find this video helpful and would like to see others like it, subscribe to the Sea Eagle Boats YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button. And remember to share this with your family and friends. To hear about the latest sales and new product releases, be sure to subscribe to our email list by clicking on the link in the video description below. Remember to post your comments and questions in the section below and I'll post links to the products and optional accessories mentioned in this video in the video description below, as well as a timestamp table of content so you can easily jump from one section or topic of this video to another. Until next time, I'm Hawaiian Dan with Seagull.com and I'll see you out on the water. Aloha.